What up, guys? It is DJ Barbecue here with Southern Comfort, cooking up some tasty barbecue and matching that barbecue with some tasty beverages, courtesy of Christian Terrell, which sounds like, like a, either a wide receiver from the Philadelphia Eagles or um, <laughs> a member of the dark um, kind of clan on Game of Thrones. Yeah, the Tyrells. <laughs> Repping until now. There we go. So I'm going to be doing um, a lovely chicken with white sauce, but I've kind of twisted the classic white sauce with Southern Comfort. It's going to bring those kind of lovely flavors, the vanillas and the stone fruit with that tang. And you're going to match cocktail with that bad boy. Plus, we're going to give away, don't drop a Stevenson, um, a load of these uh, mason jars, courtesy of Southern Comfort, to win this jar. The first five people to answer this question on Facebook and on my YouTube channel, um, win two jars each. So that's about, what, 20 jars? It was to my knowledge, there'd be no math involved. What's the question, uh, Christian? So all of you lovely folk out there have to tell us who created Southern Comfort. Now you guys have got iPads and, and iPhones. Other smartphones are available. Um, so you can just Google that and then uh, write them down real quick. Okay. Um, I'm cooking first, then you're going to start making some cocktails, okay, bro? That sounds like a plan. All right. Yeah. Um, by the way, this is like legit, man. His bar, Christian's bar, won best bar in um, in Nottingham, right? That's right, Nottingham. With, with Nottingham last Chair. Chance Saloon. Last Chance Saloon. You got a barbecue joint to go with it? Yep, Smithy Smoke Shack. There we go. Okay, so I've got to get things cooking. So I've got a big old uh, chicken from my local butchery, slow growth chicken, which means that the fat has developed and the fat is flavor. So it's really easy. I don't church this thing up. So it's olive oil. Nice little glug of olive oil. And then it is some flake salt, some pepper, make it rain. Sorry if I'm getting stuff on your uh, board <laughs> over there. And then loads of rosemary. See Salt Bay do that. <laughs> loads of rosemary. That's like my favorite chicken. Okay, now I don't want to run to wash my hands, so I'm gonna get the black gloves of awesomeness that make your ow, make your uh, barbecue taste so much better. All right, give it a rub. Oh, you've been stressed, baby. <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> everything will be fine once you're done cooking and I get to eat you. <laughs> uh, Christian, can you do me a favor? Can you lift the lid and slide it into that little crevice there? Because it'll yeah, just go in there. Not a, not a slide it in. Yep. Boom. Now watch your arm. Ow, ow. I'm joking. <laughs> See, I did that. I was on ITV this morning. Other TV shows are available. And um, I burnt my arm right before I went live. And every time I put my arm over there, it was right on the blood vessel. And it just kept cooking. Whilst oh. <laughs> I was trying to do these lovely um, chicken thigh burgers. Okay. Now, many of you guys are thinking... How is this going to be ready uh, on a live video? Well, don't worry. There's two that I've already kind of started going about uh, 40 minutes ago. So they'll be ready at the exact time. Plus, we got a big crew here to make this live. And we're going to need a lot of chickens to feed everybody. Okay. So my chicken's on. It's been seasoned. It's over to you to make the first cocktail. What do you got, brother man? So first and foremost, thank you very much for the introduction. As DJ Bobby said, I'm Christian Terrell. I'm the Southern Comfort UK brand ambassador. So it's my job to go up and down the country to teach all bartenders, teach all customers, people, and all you folks about the uh, wonderful wares that Southern Comfort have to offer. Tough job, I know. Um, also, what I want to say as well, Southern Comfort is founded in New Orleans. It is the quintessential spirit of New Orleans, created in 1874 by a lovely fella called Martin Wilkes Heron, or shorter known as M.W. Heron. And he had a slogan called Non-Genuine But Mine to fend off a lot of the copycats. And to make that point even more prevalent, he put his signature on every single bottle. So if you see one without a signature on it, probably don't get it, or call me. Anyway, so we're gonna move straight onto the cocktail, which is probably not one of our, I would say our signature cocktail, but certainly a cocktail that we're probably most famed for, and also been in our repertoire for a very, very long time. And that is the Southern Comfort Lemonade and Fresh Lime. That fresh lime, it makes all the difference. So we're going to move on to what's going to go in it. It's going to be 50 mils of Southern Comfort, the spirit of New Orleans, and what's commonly known as a bartender's measure. Now, you don't have to be a bartender to make it, um, because I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. So 50 mils straight into the glass, um, followed straight up. Always remember to put your lids on your uh, bottles, otherwise 
the flies get in there, or worse, the kids do. Yep, but you don't want to avoid that. So <laughs> lucky pantries. <laughs> so I'm going to go with two squeezes of fresh lime. This helps balance up the sweet and the sour. Um, so making a balance in life is always good, in no matter what you do. We're going to do give in probably cocktail's most important ingredient, ice. Keeps it cold. Uh, ice keeps ice cold, doesn't it, DJ Barbecue? It does, man. Ice keeps ice cold. That's the best thing I learned today, man. <laughs> so is, that, is it ready for me yet? Uh, no, not quite. No, in fact, yeah, go for it. But. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to top this one off with uh, Fever Tree Lemonade uh, to get a bit of effervescence in there, lengthen it, make it fresh, vibrant, sparkling, all those kind of awesome cinnamons um, uh, in the world over there. And so pop that right in there. Top it up, not too much, just like that. So basically that's a good example of what not to do. Uh, give it a little stir, mix it all up together. And in goes a lovely melt straw. You want to avoid plastic straws at all costs. They take 200 years to break down and they are causing the environment an absolute nightmare at the moment. And that's one for my homies. And finishing it off with a lovely lime slice if somebody does want a little bit more souring in there. So whilst I enjoy that, over to you. Thanks, dude. You're a good man. I don't care what the camera crew was saying about what? you. Uh, <laughs> they didn't say nothing. I'm just kidding. Um, bro, can I get some wood chunks? So I want to add some sweet wood note flavors to our chicken. So boom, boom. Now these are uh, wild cherry. So they go straight on the coals. Now what I'm doing, I'm cooking indirect with this chicken. So I've got coals on this side, uh, coals on this side, nothing in the middle. That way I turn my outdoor grill into an outdoor oven. And the way I look at my setup with the charcoal, it's kind of like a heat canyon. Um, you know in the first Star Wars, uh, A New Hope, other Star Wars movies are available. Um, they get all the plans from Felicity uh, Jones from the new Star Wars, but she died to bring the plans. And then it all makes sense when you get to A New Hope because they know where the weak spot is in the Death Star. So Luke Skywalker, he's in the X-Wing. He's going down into that, into that whatever, that cavern. So that's what you're building inside the kettle. You've got charcoal over here, nothing here. And that's where Luke Skywalker is flying, trying to avoid the T fighters that are behind him, that Imperial TIE, TIE fighter and all that stuff. And you've also got that one that's got Darth Vader and it's got the cool wings that do that instead of that. Um, but they blow up real easy, okay? But they're hard to hit because there's not a whole lot in there. Um, I always wonder, how did that guy get the job as being the bad dude? He thought he was probably doing a good thing for the Empire. Anyway, when you're in there, and then what happens? Obi-Wan Kenobi says, Use the force, Luke. So he gets rid of all the all the you know the tech, sends those two shots down the exhaust, cruises away in the in the X-wing. The the kind of um, big bone dude who kept saying stay on target, he died, but he was able to die in the pursuit of you know doing everything for Luke and all the good people. And then he blows up the Death Star, and then he gets to kiss the girl, which is Princess Leia which is his sister. But then, she, then Han Solo moves in and it's all good. They make Kylo Ren and it's not good again. But at least he gives you another Star Wars movie. Okay, white sauce. So this is how I do my white sauce. It's my favorite recipe and there's no sugar in it, which is what I like. But I'm gonna add a little bit of kind of those vanilla and stone fruit flavors with Southern Comfort. So think of it this way, a mug of mayonnaise. But we're gonna need a lot. So I'm gonna do a couple mugs of mayonnaise. That sounds awesome, doesn't it, bro? Okay, so the mayonnaise goes in. Then, it's like a mug of mayonnaise to maybe three-fourths of a mug of cider vinegar. So I'm gonna throw some cider vinegar in there. That's our tang, creamy and tangy. I'm all about tang. Then I wanna add some umami. So I got some Worcester sauce, a couple glugs of that. And then, since you're the bartender, can you juice me a lemon, brother man, and throw that in there? Can I borrow a blade? You can borrow me blade. This is a Joel Blacksmith blade. Other blades are available. Uh, and he is, oh, I think over in Hereford, he makes some of the best knives. So I'm going to throw a big old whooping pinches of cracked pepper. Right when you think you don't have enough pepper in there, put more. It's all about the pepper. Okay. And let's get the, those lemons in there. Did you get the, do I have to use my hands as a colander or am I okay? Uh, you, sh you should be, you should Whoops. be okay, I think, yeah. No, yeah. I can't, I lost, there's a seed in there, but it, it won't get it in our chicken. So, yeah, you can use your hand as a colander. Are you de-seeding them now for me? There you go. You're all right, dude. 
I don't care what you guys said, man. He's okay in my book. Seriously. Right. I'm the one holding the knife. It's, uh, That's right. And he knows how to use a knife. So do I, man. <laughs> okay. So the juice of one lemon goes in there. And you already just seeded it. Thanks, man. So lemons go in. Did I get any on your camera lens? No, you're okay. So lemon, mayonnaise, uh, cider vinegar, um, Worcester sauce. And then, of course, I love my uh, chili peppers. They go in. Now I need some Southern Comfort. Sir, let me hand the gold, man. Oh, you're the best, dude. You got you. Oh, gosh. Whew. All right. And then a nice... Here, I need a shot. Where's, where's my shot glass? There we are. Okay, so 50 mils of Southern Comfort goes in. So that little bit of sweet with that tang is going to make this sauce sing and dance and carry a conversation. This is like the Wonder Woman of sauces. Really like the, like that. I really wanted to like that movie, but I don't know. I wasn't too sure. But I was like, it's awesome. I'm like, yeah. I prefer the new Spider-Man. Okay, but I do want my two and a half hours back after Spider-Man three. Seriously, when he had to wear the black suit, just didn't mm. get it, man. Okay. Still wanted a bit looser. You can always add more of the side of vinegar in. You can't take it away. How's that viscosity? Let me get it with the spoon. Nope, still too thick. Still too thick. Okay. It's got a nice little ring to it. And more pepper. And a pinch of salt. Okay, now let's check it. A little bit more, man. We're almost there. Okay, dude, my white sauce is done. So, remember I put that chicken on there, right? But I did start a chicken a little bit ago, and I'm going to get that chicken into the sauce to set it. I want to start cooking in because there's... Um, just a tiny bit of sugar in there, but the chicken's almost towards the end, and that way, that sauce can cook in to our barbecue. You ever see, you go to a friend's house, and they're cooking barbecue, and then they add, like, you know, that kind of sweet barbecue sauce on too early in the cook, and then they serve you chicken, and it's just black? It's because the sugar's burned. There's only a tiny bit uh, of sweet notes in there, and that's from the southern cover. It's not going to affect it, so it's going to be all good. Okay, so... Here's this is my Blue Peter moment for those watching in the UK. Here's one I did earlier. And that chicken just goes in. It gets a bath. Sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm making a mess in front of you. Oh, my gosh. I need a bucket, man. This bowl's not big enough. The bowl is just not big enough. Oh, my goodness gracious. Woo-wee. So that is going to cook in. So I got some coals in here. Oh my gosh, it's going to be good. You too, buddy. I, oh man, you're big. Well, you're really big. I might just pour this one on you. There we go. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, do your thing. So whilst that white sauce uh, sets into the chicken... Sizzle chest is going to do another cocktail, and then it's time to mange. It's French for eat. Hey again, guys. Uh, back over to me. So I'm going to run you through now a southern swizzle, which to me depicts like what one of the best kind of rules to follow for not messing up a cocktail is, which is one of, uh, one of sour, uh, two of sweet. I beg your pardon, let me start again. One of sweet, two of sour, three of strong, four of weak, and five of spice. Now, if you kind of roll, follow this um, as a rule of thumb for making cocktails at home, you, nine times out of ten will go pretty well. Other rules to follow as well, check for freshness. It helps with lemon juice, lime juice, pineapple juice, whatever juice is you're using. If you hear a hiss when you open it, it's probably a good indication that it's going to be off. And finally, measure it. Uh, it's always a good idea to think you can measure by eye. I can guarantee you can't. Um, wonderful. So we're going to start with the Southern Swizzle. It's going to be 50 mils of Southern Comfort, straight in there. Follow it up with our, so what this uh, kind of acts as is both the strong and the sweet from the little um, ditty I gave you earlier. And, 
uh, acting as the one of sweet and also the three of strong. So we're going to move on to the two of sour. This is a combination of lemon and lime juice. Find those two different dimensions in there. Again, readily available ingredients off any shelf of any supermarket. Um, we're going to go with 20 mils of lemon and lime juice in there. This helps bring balance to the order. And uh, I know that DJ Barbecue loves talking about order, specifically in a new order, um, Star Wars point of view. I don't like order, but I sliced my thumb open a couple of days when I was shooting my cookbook, and that's like my salting thumb. Ooh. So every time I go to squeeze a lemon or pinch salt on my things, I am in the most extreme amount of pain. Ooh. So is there a cocktail that I can, can I snack back on the one you, know you made what? earlier? I think, yeah, that, that is a uh, Thank you. quite decent bit of TCP. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're going to move straight on to our last ingredient, uh, weirdly, which is... Um, Bitters! Five of spice, our bitters, our patio bitters. Again, creating New Orleans, exactly where um, Southern Comfort hails from. And we're going to go with five drops. Five or thereabouts drops <laughs> of uh, bitters, which is the five of spice. And that's wonderful. So now we're going to add 150 mils of ginger ale, which is our week. Uh, so this is the four of the week. Can, can I just tell you yeah. that when I was at university and <laughs> when I was drinking at my, our local bar, my favorite cocktail to order, my go-to cocktail was something covered in ginger ale. Oh, you're, you're, you're just saying that. No, 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 that, that, that was it. You know, oh. we, we go, so Cohen 7 to the bartender, and that was like my tipple, man. I love that stuff. This is really good, by the way. What's this one called? So that's the Southern Comfort Lemonade and Fresh Lime. Now, the Fresh Lime is the big thing that makes a difference in that cocktail. Oh, so good. And again, we're going to finish off with the option of a Fresh Lime in this cocktail. Uh, just in case the customer, you know, they fancy got a little bit more of a sour palate and they want a bit more tartness to the drink, they've got that option. So there's the Southern Swizzle. Now, with that toe, what that kind of needs, I think, is probably a little bit more chicken, so... Is it time I to think have it is. some yeah, chicken? I think it is, finally. Yes. Ma'am, you, you say all the right things. Now, just to let you guys know, I always keep one set of tongs, one set of tongs, sets, one set of tongs for the raw food and one set for the cooked food, okay? Even though my chicken was pretty much done, I'm just trying to be righteous with my examples because um, you don't want to cross contaminate because I'm going to tell you guys one thing you don't want salmonella it sucks what you do want is tasty barbecue that's cooked properly with a lovely uh, white sauce with southern comfort so can I get some angels to sing Christian how's your angel voice uh, 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 uh. yeah I've got uh, it ready okay uh, one two three okay I listen <laughs> I know me and Christian are going to do it, but you're all watching, you know, live on YouTube and Facebook, so you can do it too, all right? So on the count of three, I want everybody to do, do the angel sound, you know? Ah, here we go. One, two, three. Ah! Dude, one of our angels is a bit, uh, a bit hoarse. Okay, man, can you hand me that tray? Because this bad boy is so tender and juicy. I just do not want to lose any of this goodness. Oh my, look at that. The bone came out clean. We got a clean bone. Oh, oh my goodness gracious sakes alive. That just looks epic. And we're going to have, you're going to be dinner for my kids later on. And you're going to be school sandwiches tomorrow. Oh, you guys all need to eat too. Let's buy some more chicken. Okay. So, chickens. Here, I got other chickens cooking. I got some white sauce. So what I do when I make my white sauce, I put a little bit of side in a mug. Because again, I don't want to cross contaminate. And this, you can dip your chicken in this sauce. So this is for you. Now you need to make a lovely cocktail to match this barbecue. Okay, so I'm gonna start cutting it up. You know what, I'm gonna have, let you have a taste of it first before I do it. So, here we go. Let's get into that. Oh my goodness gracious. Dude, I'm, you need some skin in that too. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm just mangling it because I, I know you gotta make your cocktail more live. All right, so. That's for you to try. And then you've got to make a cocktail to match that. Tangy, creamy, those stone mm. fruits, the vanilla from the Southern Comfort and all that cracked pepper. You got this, man? I know you, you got to, I gave you a lot of food right there to eat. I'm asking you to come up with a question. By the way, remember, we got those mason jars. Where are they? 
Remember, the first five people to answer the question of who created Southern Comfort get two jars each. Um, we're looking for five people on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live. Bro. Fantastic. Now, since uh, DJ uh, Barbecue Talk in there, um, you didn't see it, but I magically put together some ingredients, which I have just magically put together from the taste profile of that. And what we're going to go with is peaches and cream. And uh, that is a cocktail which is going to start with Southern Comfort. Again, we're going to go with uh, 30 mils of Southern Comfort, straight into 20 mils of peach liqueur. Uh, other way, sorry, beg your pardon. I'm trying to pull that in there. <laughs> Are you using the wrong apparatuses to make your cocktail? Absolutely. It's okay, I, I lost a drumstick earlier. Um, then we go with 20 mils of peach liqueur um, on top of the Southern Comfort. Next, the two lengthening ingredients, which is 75 mils of the uh, milk and cream, or is that's simply 50-50, and this is gonna really, really work well with the chicken to add that kind of milk and creamy, milkshakey dimension to it. Gonna add a bit of a curveball here and add some pineapple juice in there. So gonna make it a little bit more fresh, a little bit more vibrant uh, to work alongside those tangy notes. Uh, after that, we're gonna do, get a load of ice in there, get a load of shaking done. You hold still, I'm trying to get a shot of that tattoo on your left arm, that thing's badass. There we go. Dude, can we get a shot of this, seriously? <laughs> This is amazing, dude. That must have taken forever. So yeah. I know we're live and it's for Southern <laughs> Comfort in my channel, but that's a wicked tattoo. Is that how you got the job as the ambassador? Yeah, that, that was literally it. I mean, it hurt like hell, and I'm a tiny, tiny little child when it comes to tattoos. <laughs> um, but you know, pain, grin and bear it and all that kind of business. Now for the uh, Cooper Girl. If you don't have a shaker at home, go out and get one. They're one of the best tools that you'll ever get. So let's pour that. Over wow. ice. Why do you spin the glass like that, dude? It's just forced habit. You know, you have those little ticks. Is that your tick? Yeah, it's one of my little ticks. Couple of shakes are always fun. Now they do, uh, cobbler shakers, they do strain it for you, which is great, but it also takes a hell of a long time for it to come out. I'm glad you didn't use any of my white sauce for your cream. <laughs> now, um, obviously, as DJ Barbecue says, you know, you've got to use your tongues. Mine are, unfortunately, not as big as his. Well, but, uh, <laughs> you know. So, you know, just showing off there a little bit, I think. Well, I just don't want to burn my arm here. <laughs> That's all it is. Drop that and let's drink with your eyes. Add a beautiful garnish. What? Uh, pineapple, again, you steel know, straw. You know what you're doing, bro. And that, sir. That's, that goes with our barbecue? Is for you. Okay, so this is the proper warm southern welcome right here. Right you know, now. Tasty uh, cocktail, awesome chicken. Now, I, I know most people's favorite bits is the thigh and, and the wing tips, but that breast is so easy to get into, so I'm gonna snack back with some uh, That is the most Moorish um, sauce there is. I just want more. Mm. And then, of course, what's this one called? So that's the peaches and cream. That's to match with the uh, chicken. Dang. Man. Yeah. So I got the, that, that balance is perfect because I got, I got the sweetness from that and the tang from that, but creamy and, and just, mm. dude, you are a good, this is probably why you know, you're an ambassador, huh? Oh, sorry. Here, it's, it's your turn. I'm I'm sitting here eating barbecue, and you need to try oh. this bad boy. Oh yeah. And we gotta always before you guys shut um, broadcast when we're going live. You gotta feed the camera guys. So open your mouth, dude. That's for you. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got oh. another camera over here. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. So camera dude number two, Will. By the way, Will is single. Um, him and his missus just broke up. She was hot, and uh, that's over. But he is a good-looking dude. So if you've seen Will on any of my old YouTube videos, you know <laughs> he is available. And Sophie is upset now. <laughs> Dude's on the market. But she's hot. She'll be fine. Just kidding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got to go, bro. <laughs> I'm DJ Barbecue, Christian Stevenson. He's Christian Terrell, ambassador for Southern Comfort. Go check out his bar, uh, his restaurant, his smokehouse, and his tasty beverages. 
And uh, yeah, subscribe. There's loads of information down below. And thanks for watching. It's fun going live. Were you yeah. nervous? Uh, shaking, shaking like a leaf. Yeah. To be honest, but that, yeah. That was okay. That's what it's like going live, man. You did good. I'm really proud of you. Right. You might need a cocktail now, though. <laughs> and some chicken. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Camera dude, come here. Come here. Now, we're being super generous. I got five more pairs of these Southern Comfort Mason jars. Now, the question to win these jars which was the first U.S. city? to serve Southern Comfort. First answers down below. First five, get two jars, man. Am I allowed to compete?